Hello guys, this is Ray once again from shortcrashcourse.com. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to index your pages fast on the Google search engine, right? So now it's one thing to write a great content, optimize it and do all that. And it's another thing for the search engine to have your article indexed on their database. Because without that, how are you going to get traffic? How are people going to discover your content by searching through the search engine? So now, oftentimes, some sites have challenges by, you know, getting indexed. So, example, we're going to be using WordDoc today, the Word Dictionary site. It's relatively um, a new site, okay? So now, this is it, WordDoc.com, right? So, one of the first thing you need to know is how to check how many pages of your site is being indexed is found on the google search engine database okay so a way to do that is to put the word site and a colon in the search engine followed by the website url okay just like this without www or http so you see what i have here then you press the enter so I'm doing this for short crash course. And if you can see here, short crash course had about, has about 55 pages indexed, okay? So you can scroll down and click the next, 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 and so on and so forth. So these are the different pages that are being indexed. But now, like I said earlier, we're using Wordac, okay? Wordac.com. So now if you type site colon Wordac.com and hit the enter button, you're gonna see about seven results that's not good because this website has more than 50 pages, more than 50 articles, more than 50 content. So if I scroll down, this is where it ends, okay? So what it therefore means is that this site is having challenges indexing uh, the pages, okay? So if you also open the WordUp page here, with the help of the SEO Quick um, Chrome extension we installed earlier on in our other video, you'll see that Google index shows seven pages here. And this website has more than seven articles, okay? About more than 50 articles. So now we are going to, how we're going to solve this is to use the Google Search Console, okay? And a Google Search Console is here. Let's go to Search Console. So we can type a Search Console we can grab a search console or you can just you know google it you can just google the word search console and google is going to bring it out okay so this is it we have search console here already so this is the search console then you click here select property this is word doc okay so now i said it earlier on that it's relatively a new site so if you see here these are the seven total web search click. So you can click on full report where you see the report of the site and all that. Okay. So now for, for us to index a new page. Okay. So let's grab this guy. For instance, this content was written today, 19th October. So we copy this link and we head back to our search console and we put it where you have the inspect any URL in WordDoc. You paste the URL, then you hit the enter button. So now what Google is trying to retrieve the data from Google index and boom, it says URL is not on Google. Oh my God. So I just wrote the content and it's not on Google. Why? Okay. So now what we're going to do is to actually request indexing. Like we're telling Google, Hey, Google, please index this page. I want traffic. I need this content to be on your database, you know? So, what I usually do is to test the live URL first before requesting indexing. Now, sometimes it could take a minute or two, like Google rightly said here. You just give it some time. So this is actually a manual way of requesting for indexing. It doesn't take anything. Once your search console is up and you finish writing in the day, you just grab the URL, you paste here and you hit the button. So now, 
this testing is more of a way of google checking the eligibility of your url if it's okay if it can be indexed and all that because there's some pages that could have issues with you know that might not allow it to get indexed so what happened here is that it's saying that yeah this page can be indexed so then i could now go ahead and say request indexing so oftentimes once you just finish doing this you can even realize that the indexing will happen right away okay sometimes sometimes it could take time okay so but once you do this you're good to go so you see your was added to a priority cross queue so making the page multiple times will not change its queue position or priority so you just click got it okay so now that's how to request a page that's how to get your page index so now i could come here after a moment and paste that same url right to check the status if google has indexed it it will not show what it showed the other time it will now show something like this url is on google but as you can see here it's not yet so don't bother about it as long as you've done that so now let's pick a url that we know it's already there like the flaps here okay so we copy link and then we go back here and we put it in this inspect and we hit the enter button now see the difference between this one and the one we checked before now url is on google so this is how your pages are supposed to be shown the ones that are on google database so you can easily get traffic so that will be all for now i believe that with this video you now know how to index your pages request for indexing manually whenever you're done publishing your content so see you in the next video bye